Nelly Kaffernan. Run back is Liam McGrath. Up to Dan Ryan. Dan Ryan, right handed. Aidan Butler now operating at centre back. Aidan is half locked down. The ball's gone over the sideline and it'll be a line ball. A line ball for Clonolty and Ian Ryan, son of club chairman Tom. From the middle of the field, cuts it down. Seamus Collins out to Lee McGrath. Lee McGrath in the ball right inside. It's now William Juicy. William Juicy under pressure, underground. It's taken away very well by Michal O'Rean. Michal O'Rean down the centre. Pulled on by Lacey. Shane Ryan outside, ahead of the full, full forward. Comes outside and belts it clear. Ian Ryan. And it's now Darren Ryan. It's Darrell Tucker now. Darrell is blocked down beautifully. Blocked down beautifully by Aidan Butler and it's gone over the line for a line ball for Burgess. Cut right inside by John Carmody. It's pulled on by Michal O'Rean but there's a foul in there on a Clonoti player and there will be a free out from about 35 metres and it's Michal Ryan, the full back, to take it. And Michal drives it down the right. Connor Fitzgerald blocks it down. Great clash there, Joe Wade flicks it right inside. Tom Ryan pulls on it into his full forward Mark, Mark Ryan. Or Mark Kane, I should say, looking for room to swing the stick. It's pulled on, gone right inside to the goalkeeper, off his line, Seamus Slattery. Good work by Slattery. It's taken away by the centre left, John McKenna, and McKenna belts it out of the fence. And the referee has called for the ball, and it's half time. And we finish at half time, and the score 2 5, 2 1 4. Four points separation the sides. Tanolte have played with a slight breeze in the first half and certainly they have it all to do in the second half, but they have played very well in the last quarter of an hour, and it's certainly not beyond them. Team B final is on, between Clarnolte, Rossmore and Borges of North Tipperary. And I noticed that Dennis Crow is in the game at right corner forward for Borges, and they lead by 2-5, 2-1-4. So Clarnolte have it all to do, but that's a wonderful strike by Aidan Butler. Right inside to his full forward, Mark Kane, was beaten by Shane Ryan. Shane Ryan flicks it outside. And there's a foul there. A foul there on Tom Ryan and a free in for Clonolte. A free in. And Mark Kane has come out the whole way to about 48 metres to take it. And I've come to the conclusion that it was Martin Burke who scored that goal towards the end of the first half. And that in fact Paddy Wade has scored a point. And this is a point anyway by Mark Kane. Great points. Three points for Mark Kane. To narrow, narrow the gap. 2-5, 2-1-5. And a goal separating the sides. Quick puck out. Quick puck out and it's taken away very well by James Carroll. Ball gone very near the sideline. Gone off the stick of John Carmody and there will be a sideline ball. I would have thought for Clonolte but it is a sideline ball for Burgess. I'm just trying to check on numbers of jerseys. Paddy Wade and Martin Buck, but anyway, we'll follow the play. Ball out to Seamus Collins. Seamus challenged by Kevin Lanigan Ryan. Now it's the other Ryan, Ian Ryan. Ian misses it. It's taken away by Collins, a very strong pull. And there will be a free there for Burgess, right from the middle of the field.
A free for Burgess. Canolti, goalkeeper with the sun in his eyes. Taken very well by John McKenna. Right inside, all alone, is Darrell Tucker. Turning one, two, and puts it right inside the scrum to the back of the net. Darrell Tucker, playing at right half forward, found himself all alone inside. Turned one way and then the other, and put it inside past Ali Quinn. And it's now 3-5, 2 one, five. It's number 10, David Ryan. David's on his bike. A real speed match, and this is a marvellous run. Kicks it and puts it to the left, and it's gone wide. Puck out to the middle of the field. Darrell Tucker again, dropping it inside and round the house, batted away by Michal Ryan. And Michal comes after and then clears it. Only as far as Darren Meany. Meany puts this one over the bar from about 45 metres out. And he has scored 1 3 now. So it's 3 6 2 1 5. Puck out by Michal Ryan, dropping at midfield. Pulled in by Seamus Collins. It's now Tom, Tom Ryan and John McKenna. McKenna is bundled over the sideline by Ian Ryan. And referees awarding him a free, uh, a free there, which seems a little harsh to me. But, However, John McKenna isn't complaining. He's going to strike it. Strikes it inside. It's pulled on right inside, but it's taken away by John Barry. John Barry under some pressure. Dennis Crow now on it. Straight away by Roger Ryan. As far as Darren Meany. Darren Meany is blocked down. And it's John Barry clears it outside again on the 45 metre line. Taken by John Cavley. It is a long stroke from John Cavley right inside. And it's gone off Michal Ryan's hands and it's gone out for 65. A 65 to be taken by Liam McGrath. Liam certainly has the distance. Has he direction? Yes, he has. He puts it over the bar. That's point number three for Liam McGrath. Ian Ryan overruns that one. It's Nully James Carroll. Inside to Kevin Lannigan Ryan, a very lively performer. He's gone right inside, runs into a heavy tackle, but flicks it right inside a great ball to Tom Ryan. Tom Ryan is challenged there by Conor Fitzgerald. It's Ian Ryan. First time it's Seamus Collins. And now it's Kevin Lannigan Ryan again. Turning away to get a stroke in. Gets it right inside a dangerous ball. But it's driven away very well to Liam McGrath. And Liam McGrath drives it, skies it, down to his number 13. Patrick Hogan is robbed beautifully. And coming away is Nully Heffernan. Nully out to the right. Seamus Lacey in the race there with Conor Fitzgerald. Conor Fitzgerald wins that one and drives it away towards Aidan Butler. Aidan Butler puts his hand up, doesn't collect it. It's taken away by James, by Nully Heffernan. And it's Joe Wade. Joe Wade comes raiding. Flicks it right inside to Tom Ryan. Tom pulls and misses it entirely. It's now with Wade again. Wade turning one, two. Gets in his stroke and this is looking good. It's gone over the bar for a smashing point for Joseph Wade. Joseph has scored two points now. And I make it six minutes gone in the second half. Goalkeeper Seamus Slattery. Down the left hand side. Going back is Aidan Butler. Aidan Butler challenged by Darren Meany. Butler along the ground. That's what's called for. To Seamus Lacey. To Joseph Wade. Lacey kicks it ahead and has it now. And he's on his bike. He's challenged by Conor Fitzgerald. But he's still going. 
is a great run by Lacey, flicks it inside to Mark Kane, who's robbed by Shane Ryan. Shane Ryan. And Shane comes away and clears it left handed. Ball is now with Ian Ryan. Ian Ryan, gone back to collect it, is Lee McGrath. And Lee McGrath down to the left corner. It's Aidan Butler, surely Clarity's man of the match. Ball has gone over the line and it's a line ball for Clonoti Ross Moore. <laughs> Centre half, Aidan Butler. Till James Carroll, in fact, cut that one. And there's a foul now on John McKenna. And McKenna has a free just inside his own 45. 3 7, 2 1 6. It's taken by Darden Meany. Darden left handed. Right inside to Dennis Crow, the substitute. Balls now with Ali Quinn. And Ali comes out and clears his lines to Aidan Butler. Aidan looking for Tom Ryan at centre forward. It's now Connor Fitzgerald. Connor. The budget's left half back. Challenged by Seamus, Seamus Lacey. It's Aidan Butler and Ian Ryan. Both of them beaten by David Ryan. Inside to Dennis Crow. Dennis flicks inside to Darrell Tucker. And Darrell Dennis ball right across. It's caught beautifully there by John Barry. And John Barry clears it out to the right. A race here between Joseph Wade and John Carmody. Or Lee McGrath it was in fact. Wade flicks it inside. It's now taken away by Seamus Collins. Seamus is beaten by two Clenalty men. And there is referee, I think, is going to throw it in. Ian Ryan and Seamus Collins. Ian Ryan has the better of that one. It's now David Ryan, gone back to kick it for Borges, very near the sideline, kept in play by Darrell Tucker. But it's gone over the line now, and it'll be a line ball for the North Tipperary champions. Almost ten minutes gone in the second half. 3-7, 2-1-6. And certainly Clonalty have it all to do to win this county on the 16 B final. But Joseph Way playing as well as everybody else there, as, as, as better than most, I think, in this game. Ball gone right inside. It's now Mark Kane.